Oh my god, we have a move bot for ladies. Oh my god. Oh wait, okay. All right, so we, we have uh, Thrasher, probably the best Fox in uh, Foco, and then we have Cody, who's I guess an okay Falco. And, and like I heard he might might have beat Lovo. I'm not sure, but yeah, you know. I, I heard he's like pretty technical. I don't know how exactly how technical, but uh, yeah, that looks okay. 34, okay, 50. Let's go, 65. Cody. Oh, Cody. Cody. Actually, my uh, my melee sensei getting me into the game and then teaching me uh, how to wave dash. So shout out to him. Uh, Cody was the first guy I played in at ATA when I started, and uh, he bodied me. I had no idea who he was. And now look at us. Still getting bodied. Yeah. <laughs> Still getting bodied. How times have changed. Wow, Thrasher's got a lot. That is a success. Awesome. Oh, no, Thrasher's a pretty solid fox. He also has a pretty solid sheep, too. He's very consistent with uh, a lot of his punishes. Yeah. They might not be the most like detrimental to your percentages, but they definitely uh, like position you very badly. Send you off stage and then it's, I haven't seen him drop an edge guard uh, in the last two games that I saw. But give envelope one open, he will zero the death. Oh, yeah. He's just so consistent with those pillars. And, and his lasers, like he doesn't laser blindly, he lasers to control space. Oh really yeah. Something that not a lot of Falcons do. I one thing I've noticed is that mostly he only goes in when he gets in. Yeah. Back is some off stage. Oh wow. This is that edge guard. Yeah. I think Spacey side be on the stage after the trap ledge is like when you don't expect it. Like it's always bad. Like, right there, that was obviously yeah. a bad choice. But if you don't expect it, it's like it's free. you just get center stage for free. So it's an option that uh, everyone should try to cover. Just kind of trying hard to uh, get control of neutral here. Yeah. They're just going back and forth. I don't think Spacey should live to this high a percent on Fountain of Dreams. Yeah, it's really hard for uh, you know even that back air. Although it was a soft one, it's not gonna kill him. Yeah. But Cody missing the edge guard. Sorry, envelope. Nice shot out of shield. Oh, Ooh. I don't know if that was SDI or just the really weak up there. Probably the really weak up there. No one expects to SDI attack there, but... Wow, 194 is still going to come back. The Rasher uh, holding on his life for dear life. 205, he finally died. Yeah. Alright, 131, obviously. Uh, yeah, he's going to be up there. Invincible up there is going to take it. Man. Invincible options are uh, pretty good. Yeah, especially when you come down on that and just forward smash with Marth. I don't like that option up throw shine. It doesn't really set up for much. Yeah, it just hits him with like 6%, that's it. Like, but if, if you were by edge and they DI away, you could set up for an edge guard, but... And that's where you can see this Falco's like super practice, is that he doesn't miss any of the wavelengths to keep the combos going. Just, yeah. It's all DI dependent. If you don't DI right, then you're going to eat either your stock or like 100%, but that option is going to take it. Nope. Oh, no. Good DI like by it. Cody. Learn your percents. Zeke, come on. Oh, nice shine grab. Turn around off tilt, so that helps me. Oh, down, down. Yeah. Let's that down. Oh. Expects the side to be on his date, so he charges the forward smash. Cody going. Cody two stocks behind right now. I guess one and a half stocks, but. Yeah. It's not the first time I've seen him come back from something like this. Oh, yeah, especially from Cody. Cody is the type to, I don't know, want to win more when he's behind instead of like being a couple play or a couple players who want to give up. Yeah. That's what he out. And he's gotten a lot better. Yeah, two stocks to one. Um, like, the way I see it is that Cody's always been, like, pretty good, though. Ever since he started, he's, like, been getting more and more technical, but now he's getting more consistent with his tech. Yeah. That's one thing that he really needs to work on. Like, sometimes his overly technical self would, uh, like, punish himself. He'd side be off stage, or he'd eat unnecessary punishes for missing certain things. And now it's like you rarely see him miss anything. It's yeah. It's really just hard follow -up. I've seen him drop so many edge guards to try and do that shine there. It's yeah. so cool, but he misses it. And we don't talk about spring scene four. <laughs> Kyo's here, alright. Uh, I forgot oh, wow. Kyo was here. Yeah, shout out to Kyo for coming back. Yeah, we missed him, so I played with him once at battery basement. Got utterly destroyed. I missed that shine turnaround down there. Up and throw over there. Ooh, and that's wow, going to take, take it. Thrash takes game one. Uh, where do you think Cody's going to counter to? I'm thinking Yoshi's if Thrash Yeah, Yoshi's his favorite stage. Um, oh, yeah, for sure. And then if he doesn't go there, maybe... Oh, he's going Battlefield. Yeah. I didn't hear what was banned, so maybe he banned Yoshi's. Yeah. They played game on a fountain, right? Yeah. 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 You got to thrash for Thrash. Thrasher cheers. Ooh. I don't know, Thrasher's got a really strong neutral game. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. No. Oh. Not gonna be enough, though. Oh, it gets me to grab. Surprisingly, it won't be enough. Falco's. Falco's recovery is just so terrible. Yeah. Out of all the top cheers, yeah. It's so funny because, like, when you think about it, Falco's recovery is 
really good. Like compared to, you know, the mid and low tiers. Yeah. Like he has a lot of side view ups with short and his up B can be angled like really well. It's a lot easier to sweet spot than Foxes if you're like riding the stage. Um, yeah. It's it's a lot easier to mix up, but definitely can get sent too far and stuff like that. Um, so he's mid he could have just went for a back air there, but instead he tries to go for that shine there. The laser. Goes for the down smash instead, doesn't really cover the straight up option. Yeah. I think he could have forward tilted there. See, look at that. Wow, shine back air. He doesn't normally miss it. Oh, good laser. Wow, really nice. Covers every single option. Yeah. He got some Foco chance in the back. Can't quite hear them. <laughs> Thrasher's just got a solid punish game for Cody. Right now. Wow. Nice job down back air. Alright, Cody down a stock. But oh, oh my god, these side bees off the edge. You can't be happy about that. Looks like. Gotta give, gotta give himself a little challenge, I guess. Oh wow, that was shield pressure. Shine pressure, but unfortunately was not uh, perfect enough to avoid getting punished on the shield. Um, wow. Well, all right. If that had converted, I would have been, I would have been happy. I believe in, I believe in envelope. Oh, yeah. barely yeah, wow. misses that back air. If he had hit it, the game was over. Yeah. <laughs> Cody's gotten a lot better about his uh, attitude towards losing. Oh yeah, that's what I, that's what killed him the most. Uh, Really improving it was just he was so hard on himself. And that, that's yeah, it. I'll yeah. take it. Cody gonna lose a set to Thrash. Yeah. Good one for Thrasher though. Yeah, Thrasher. Is... I I actually might have to go. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go check who I play next. All right.